is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do a real easy camouflage design. I had somebody request this because they want to paint it on wine glasses. So I thought I'll go ahead and just show you on my wine bottle that I do videos and wash it off, that type of thing. So I went ahead and I pounced the base color on so it's already dry. Base color I chose to use is coffee latte and this is a multi-surface paint. Now when you're doing a camouflage pattern, you know, pick maybe five or six colors that you want to put together. They don't have to actually be like greens and browns and blacks and grays, that type of thing, but for the purpose of this video, I did choose to do that. Now, the other colors I'm using are Thicket, Fresh Foliage, Licorice, Burnt Umber, and then I chose the Metallic Silver. Again, combination of multi-surface and enamels. They are all folk art products. The brushes I'm using to create this pattern are a mixture of different size brushes of the uh, Magic Round brushes. I'm using a 16, a 10, a 14, a 6, 8, 12, 2. Sorry that they're in different random, random numbers, but I may not use all these. I'll just decide as I go. So I'm just going to do the front of the bottle just to give you an idea of how to get started. And that's basically what the person wanted me to show. I'm going to go ahead and start with the fresh foliage. Just dip in my brush in here. Now I'm not sure, I know my paper when I did the, the template, it did not cover real well. But what I'm going to say is that you basically just want to do a variety of patterns. You can even draw them if you want to draw on your surface first. So say like you did your base coating and you just get a pencil and draw the designs. But I'm trying to make them kind of rounded, wavy, not real straight as much as possible. and. Since I'm just doing this for the purpose of the video, the coverage really isn't a concern to me, but if you're doing it on your glass, you want to make sure, once again, that you have good coverage. Just the more you do it, the better as far as the thickness of your paint. Of course, having the base coat helps. But I'm just randomly putting the screen in different places and some of my base coat will will be left uncovered because it will be part of the color combination that I'm using and I'm just I guess I'm just randomly placing these if you want to be real precise then draw your design out You know, so that you, you get the design shapes and such that you want. I don't want to do too many of these because I don't have a whole lot of space here on the bottle as opposed to the paper that I was doing my sample on. But I'm just randomly placing these shapes. Again, just trying to make them as wavy as possible meaning, you know, rounded, not sharp, sharp edges. And they don't have to look like kidney shapes. I feel like all mine are starting to look like a kidney shape here. And that's not what I'm trying to do. See where the paint's not completely covering, but you're, you know, she's going to get the point of what I'm doing here. All right, so I'm going to dip my brush into the brown. I'm going to pick a spot and I'm just going to come up next to the next color and paint that in and just kind of wiggle it around. This might be one where you hit it with a heat gun, give it some dry time and then go back over it again. If you were to do this on a wine glass, which is what she's 
I think thinking about doing is go ahead and base coat your gloss where you want the paint to be and you can hit it with a heat gun hair dryer give it a little bit of dry time like this when I base coated it and then I let it dry and came back to it several hours later now as far as putting these coats on right now you can tell that they're not they're not dry so it's wet on wet when I'm draw painting into the next the next color again that's okay it doesn't have to be perfect and remember if you flub up you can either wipe it off start over or use the base coat paint to touch it up and if you feel like you didn't get it the way you wanted it all right so I'm just trying to kind of wiggle my way around here do some random shapes but I also want to make sure that I leave some spots open with my base coat too I mean, if for some reason you forget, not a big deal. And just consider it a good base coat. Right? All right, let me just do one more spot. Again, I'm just doing random shapes. If you're particular, then draw them in. I'm not particular, so I'm not going to draw them in. All right, and next one I'm going to do is my thicket. And again, I'm just randomly putting in these shapes. And just do your best to come up to the the next color it doesn't have to be perfect by any means there once again I got a little bit of the green in there okay and then we're going to take a look at this and say, okay, where do I want this at? And I'm just going to have it come up like that. And just keep going with it. You can do your color combinations differently than how I'm doing it. Or the shapes. I'm going to come down here. Throw an odd shape in here. If all else fails, you can look for a stencil. Just kidding. <laughs> it shouldn't be that hard to do, really. And I'm going to come up here and do another one. Maybe kind of lean in it this way. And let's see here, I do have a couple other colors to throw in here. And I'm not really going to touch on the neck right now. I'm just using the neck to kind of hold on to the glass or to the bottle, I should say. So I'm not going to paint on it. And this is just to give you an idea of what you can do. The next one I'm going to do is the silver. So I'm just going to come in here, hopefully you can see that, come in here, and if I were going to go up on the neck and you know, I'd round it up, 
do it nice going up the neck but right now like I said for the purpose of this video I'm not going to be going up the neck I'm just going to be doing random design right in here Again, I can leave this open and it's like I said doing this bottle right now I would say you're going to definitely need to do another coat I mean, at least signed, I think I would. And just have fun with it, really. Don't have to be perfect by any means. Coming down here. And I gotta remember to leave some of this color open because I definitely want the the latte, coffee latte to show. That's kind of a fun, fun shape, huh? Okay, then let's come down here. I'm gonna just do a little bit around here because I do still have one more color. Plus I wanna be able to leave some open. I'm afraid I'm gonna forget. That's why I have to keep reminding myself. Let's see how just once it starts to dry, it thins out a little bit. You're going to want to go over it again. And again, with this, you could just leave it with this amount of colors. I am going to now go into the licorice and just do a little bit of that on here. And like set up in here, I would probably do something a little nicer going up the neck. And there'd be other colors heading up there with it. So. And this is more, if you want a masculine design, this would be more what you would be looking for, I'm sure. Instead of my floral designs that I do all the time. Uh, just kind of randomly, be honest with you, I don't have any thoughts. I'm just doing this as I go. So there's no, well, you got to put it over here or there. You just kind of wing it and see what, what looks good or what you think looks good. I'm going to put some black down here and striving to leave some of my base coat showing. And let's see where else I want to put a little bit of black over here. We're almost done. I appreciate you sticking with me. Again, I'm not doing the whole bottle, just doing the front part for the purpose of the video. I might just stick a little bit of brown or black down in here. And this is where you just kind of take a look at it and see where you think you need to add it. I want to keep a little bit of that brown or the coffee latte showing right there. And I'm thinking Let's see here. Any place else? I might just throw a little bit over in here. And then 
we'll be done. I think that's good for now. Again, pretty easy. I'd go back over it again, but you got the gist of it. Just do little random shapes and put them, put them together. All right, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that notification bell as well as the uh, subscribe to my channel. And before you go, if you would hit the share button that you'll see underneath the video, share this on your social network with all your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate it. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy. Have a good one.